Hello guys, today I want to show you two things. One is adding labels to an XY chart points. And the second thing is how to use the chart in analyzing uh, alteration mineralization uh, in a mineral deposit. So to add labels an, in an Excel chart, well, what you do is you download an add-in called XY chart label and you can download the add-in from this website here or you can just go to Google and write XY chart label and it will bring you to this website. For Windows uh, you can you download this file or for Mac and you can download these two files here. For my case, I won't download because I have already the add-in downloaded. And I'll show you on Excel where the add-in will go. So open a blank Excel. You see uh, in a standard menu bar here, uh, if I download the add-in, the add-in will come as a menu here and it will be called XY label. So let me close this one and uh, I'll now install the add in. Okay. XY chart label. Initializing wise installation wizard pretty straightforward installation it's done so I'll close this one and I will now um, open the spreadsheet with the data that I want to use So these are the data that I want to use. They are the data um, for a mineral deposit uh, before and after alteration. Uh, you see the menu has come here, XY chart labels. And now I just want to do, what I want to do is to plot the, the chart. I'll just select this data and go insert scatter there you go um, doesn't doesn't look good because you have uh, very big values up to 400,000 and you have also very small values up to point something so what I'm going to do is uh, plot this is in a logarithmic format uh, just a quick delete this series and then uh, click on the y axis and right click and format axis say logarithmic and you click on the x axis right click and format axis then logarithmic but i also want uh, this line to be on the left side of the chart Therefore, just you click on the x axis, slight click on the x axis, and you go format axis and you say fixed width and the axis value say 0 0.01, and then it close out of this one. You see, but I also want uh, the y axis to start as, uh, at 0 0.01, just like the way the Excel. The, the x-axis is starting I'll just click and right click format and I'll say fixed width 0 0.01 and um, axis value 0 0.01 say close see now it's looking uh, it's looking better but I also want to um, 
close this side of the chart and I'll just click in the chart and right click and there is format plot area I'll say border color sold line and I'll just put a black any color that you prefer would be better and I'll as well add uh, grid lines I'll just add major grid lines and then I'll add uh, minor grid lines I'll as well come here and add major grid lines um, come to uh, add minor grid lines because we already have major grid lines the other thing that I want to do is to add a trend um, uh, the other thing is just come to um, layout and say add a trend and linear trend and click on the line uh, format a trend line and uh, put the insert intercepted to zero then you close now the line is straight but we don't we don't know which one of these points is which in the table uh, so in order to know that what you do is um, you come now to your add-in uh, the XY chart labels and uh, you click on it and you say add labels okay uh, which labels do we want to which series of labels do we um, want to it's this series and it's this range from silicon dioxide silicon, di silicon dioxide to uh, to the bottom and then you click um, just, just before you click OK choose where you want to put your label I'll, for my case I'll put the right side of the point then you click OK well so now we know which one is which so this one is gold and this this one is um, copper so we know one which one is which now um, after here I'll just maybe show you another thing uh, axis titles I'll just uh, primal horizontal title I'll just put the title below the axis and which is uh, waste in ppm and I'll put the y-axis just to click on the chart and go layout and axis titles primal, uh, primary vertical axis title I'll you I, I will normally choose the rotated title because um, that is what I prefer you can choose what whatever you prefer and I'll write here go oh, in ppm so so that is how you can put labels in a scatter diagram of uh, in points of a scatter diagram and uh, the other thing is uh, to look at is um, how is this useful in analyzing um, alteration mineralization in a mineral deposit so you have a rock initially um, and you have um, fluids moving in the rock and um, uh, what the fluids will do will alter the rock and during the alteration some of the minerals will be depleted in the rock and some of the minerals will be added into the rock it means the hydrothermal fluid is bringing some of the minerals is also uh, taking some of the of the of the minerals from the rock so um, you see uh, the minerals above this line are the ones which were added into the rock and the minerals that are below this line are the ones that were depleted into the rock 
um, and then uh, minerals like these ones which are close are either close to the line or they are within the line itself uh, these are the ones that have not been altered so thank you guys very much for watching i hope you enjoy the video